is my new Emerald 116. It's a basic mechanical machine that does straight stitch. All of these um, fancy ones, beautiful little pull out here, so you can decide which foot to use. And um, I'm using this just to create my next picture. Anybody can create the pictures I create just with a basic mechanical machine. This back cloth has been dyed outside. Um, you can see that on my earlier videos. And I've painted it with some acrylic paint um, and I'm gonna stitch on it now. I'm stitching on the piece of fabric that I've painted and one layer of stitch and tear at the moment because I'm hoping that this is gonna be fastened to a canvas so I don't need the extra thickness layer of the wadding. I've got my stitch length set to the longest, which is five. I've threaded up with blue because I'm gonna do the sky first. I'm gonna start in the middle so that I adhere the background stitch and tear to the fabric. reverse button. I use this a lot. My foot is right to the floor. I'm getting some speed up. I'm not being careful about where I put the lines to start with. I'm just aiming for the blue in the top part of the picture to the sky. And then later I'll go back and add colour in the bottom half. contrasting colours once I've fixed the back on so that they stand out from the background colour that I've used and that way you get all the detail of every single stitch line which gives the picture its depth. When I'm stitching using stitch and tear and cotton and even when I've got um, a layer of wadding in between. I like to use a, either a universal or a 90 needle which is like a jeans needle and it's a little bit stronger because when you get the layers of stitching building up it really does get quite thick and sometimes your needle is inclined to break. You can see the hatch lines building up and I like to go in different directions so that I can maintain an even tension across the piece. Always keep in mind that the top half of the picture is not going to have as much stitch detail into it. So lots of colour and thread into the sky to start with because at the bottom that's going to be thread heavy towards the end. <laughs> 